Hey everybody, welcome back to another LEGO... Oh my gosh, what was that? That was the doorbell, we better go see what that is. <sighs> oh yes indeed, it's the LEGO package we've been waiting for, let's see what's inside. So obviously based on the title of this video, you guys already know what's in this awesome LEGO box, but I could not be more thrilled to have this in our possession. Thank you so much for sending this to us early so we can unbox it here on the channel, live build it, review it, and just have a lot of fun with it. I'm really stoked on it. It's an amazing set. It's none other than the brand new LEGO DC Comics Batman Tumblr. So today let's unbox this thing. Let's have a detailed look at the packaging, the instruction manual, and what's inside the box. So of course this set here is based off the Dark Knight Trilogy, which I think are the best Batman movies of all time. In the center of the box we've got the Batman Tumblr. It's reflecting on the black 18 plus style packaging. The Batman Tumblr logo in the top left. Love it. That looks sweet. Also down here we can see that's Lego set 76240, 2049 pieces. And this one here will be released on November 1st here in 2021. On the top of the box, we've got the LEGO logo again, a side profile view of the Tumblr, the Dark Knight Trilogy logo once again, and a one-of-one -one scale picture of the large tires that are found on this amazing set right here. Batman Tumblr on this side of the box, the LEGO and Dark Knight Trilogy logo on this side, along with an amazing graphic of Batman. On the back side of the box, we've got the rear end of the amazing Tumblr. You can see that it actually sits on a stand similar to the 1989 Batmobile and also comes with a UCS style plaque. Once again, that logo is just plastered all over this box. Right here you've got the minifigures that come with the set. It's sort of confusing that they're sitting on a gargoyle display stand similar to the 1989 sets because that doesn't really make sense for the Dark Knight Trilogy, but oh well, those minifigures look amazing. There's the Batmobile once again in Lego form. Then you can see the size of the set. So it's 43.7 centimeters or 17.2 inches long and 16 and a half centimeters or 6.4 inches tall. Then of course there is the tumbler in real life. Oh my gosh, this thing looks awesome. Even though I already have one from 2014, I'm stoked on having this set. Overall, the packaging on this thing looks awesome. Doesn't it just match that Batman Dark Knight trilogy vibe just perfectly? It looks incredible. It's time to crack it open and see what's inside. Always excited to see how many different building stages are inside and also check out the instruction manual. Whoa, there goes a big tire. You see that thing roll right off my table? Whoa, there's even more big tires in here. So it looks like you get a lot of big tires. So it looks like this set here has 11 different building stages and in that final stage you build the stand and also the minifigures. Believe it or not, this stack right here is all stage one. So stage one is quite large. We've got the four massive tires right here and also the rims and then the front tires here as well. And this is going to accommodate our display plaque sticker. And then we have our instruction manual, which came sealed in this cardboard. I can really appreciate that just to preserve the instruction manual. It didn't come bent or anything like that. And the cardboard folder sort of ensures that. It also does wonders for the sticker sheet as well because as you can see it is in mint condition. There we have our large sticker for the specifications plaque and then we have a bunch of stickers for the interior of the tumbler. Oh looks like there's a mini sticker sheet as well right there. Nothing else in there is there? Nope doesn't look like it. Here we have our uh, instruction manual right here. The tumbler on the front cover of course. Looks awesome. Let's uh, flip it open and see what's inside for the first time. Woo! Wow, I love that graphic right there. That's sweet. Black and white, but the tumbler is in color, although it's mostly black because Batman likes to build in black. I've got to get me one of those. There you go. <laughs> well, I already have one. Now we have two. Even better. Uh, speed, agility, brute force. There's an actual picture of the tumbler there. The black pages don't like my big lights, but it is what it is. The uh, design process is right here. So you can see the original on the left and the Lego model on the right. Very cool. Oh yes, meet the designer. 
In this photo here, you can sort of get the sense of the scale of it and how it fits onto its display stand as well. Ooh, look at that. Designing the Joker minifigure, that's cool. Look at the head on the uh, computer screen there, on the laptop screen. Boom, look at that. It's bursting with the uh, bat signal behind it. Very cool. It's bursting through the page here, I guess. I love that graphic. That's awesome. Fasten your seatbelts. Learn how to use your brick separator. Then you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 and 11 building stages. And then of course you get started. Look how big the first stage is. It's massive. Let's see how many steps there are in this thing. Flipping right to the back, making a mess of my wheels. There it is, going onto the display stand. Tell me how many steps there are. 24, I don't believe you. Okay, they split it up by uh, stage. They seem to be doing that way there. But you can see it goes up to like 478 there. And final page count, approximately 403. And all our parts in the back. So there's our very well done instruction manual, package set, and an amazing box. So obviously one of the main reasons why I'm so excited about this set is because I have a pretty sweet collection of Batmobiles and I can't wait to integrate this into the collection of Batmobiles. For DC Comics stuff, we've got the speed wagon down here from the Lego Batman movie, also the Flying Fox, then we have the Batcave right here with the 66 Batmobile, and also the newer 1966 Batmobile. We've got some more Batmobilia and Santa Claus is in that Batwing for some reason. We've also got the Joker helicopter. The 2014 Tumblr, I'm really excited to see the difference between the 2014 one and of course the one from 2021. I'm hoping they've made some changes to it. In particular, I hope it's a little bit more durable and not as fragile as the one from 2014. Hopefully the seven years of experience of building Lego models We'll have that change. We also got another Batmobile right there below the UCS style 1989 Batmobile right here, which comes with the same sort of specifications plaque and also the minifig stands that we saw there. Yeah, it doesn't really make sense that the 89, or sorry, the Tumblr one comes with the gargoyles, but whatever. I guess it matches these stands here, which is sort of the vibe they're going for. And of course, that's right below the Batwing that's mounted to the shelf there. Very cool. And then this Batmobile right here. So I'm really excited to add this one to the shelves here and really excited to also compare it, of course, with the 2014 one. So yeah, pretty sweet that uh, Lan sent it to us. So there it is, everybody. Unbox the brand new LEGO DC Comics Batman Tumblr from the Dark Knight Trilogy. Once again, it's coming out here on November 1st in 2021. Everybody, thank you so much for uh, stopping on by. Remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned. Thanks a lot. Peace out.